Hi guys, this is Rashid and you're watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I would like to show you one of another demonstration video. So it's the project about the uh, robot navigation in the greenhouse. So the, the goal of this project is to let the robot run in the greenhouse, which is the strawberry farm. So you will see that here um, the strawberry is lining up and both sides of the robot and then there is a path that the robot can go straight and then come back so there are 30 of this lane like this and there is the camera on the robot which is going to record the video and then that video will be used for the later analyze so about the robot navigation for this time i didn't use the slam because for the environment like this, you may know that the SLAM cannot work well because uh, there is no much features for the SLAM to uh, localize itself. So I use a much simpler algorithm. So as you can see on this diagram, so uh, you can see that there is a lower line as a timeline and it starts from the left side. So at time t, the robot start at the first lane, which is the uh, point number A. Then it's used the wall following because the on the laser, it could see some kind of like the wall from the uh, strawberries. And then once it go until uh, at B point, then it will stop. And at time T plus one, it will rotate itself to uh, change the orientation back to where it come from and at time t.2 it will go from uh, point f to point g to come out from that lane and uh, lastly at time t.3 uh, it needs to change the lane from the first lane to the second lane then it will move itself from point g to point i and then after that, it needs to repeat the same process again, like the time t. Uh, so it needs to do something like this until the uh, lane 30. And here is the actual running from the robot. So you can notice that the robot try to stay in the middle of the lane. So it using wall following to detect the distance of the left and right. And once it detects the uh, end wall, so it will stop and then rotate 180 degrees and then come back to the starting point again. So once uh, it come back to the starting point, so it will stop and then try to change the lane. So all of this motion is designed by using uh, odometry and the laser scan. So it needs to repeat this motion until the last lane, which we define it as the lane 30. We made a flowers detection model from Darknet YOLO to detect and count flowers from recorded video. So from farmers information, they said that if uh, we can know the flowers, so they can predict that when the strawberry will grow and that information will be useful to um, estimate the strawberries in the future.
And that's it for my demonstration video. Thank you for watching.